It all started on a gorgeous day in the middle of March, the night of my parents' 20th wedding anniversary. It was a wonderful sunny day, if memory serves, surprisingly warm before the beginning of spring. The beautiful weather was so perfect for the atmosphere of the day. Being married for 20 years is a major life's milestone, so my parents had booked a table at our favorite Italian restaurant. This was a formal occasion, so of course, I had my best suit on. It was 5.33 and I was just straightening my tie when my phone went off. I had received a message. I checked the message. It was from my mom. It was quite a large jumble of numbers and letters, but through the vocabulary stew, I could make out the legible phrase, please help me. It should go without saying that this worried me greatly, so I immediately replied, Are you okay? Instantly I got another message, which read, Oops, pocket text. I sighed with relief and continued to prepare myself. A few minutes later, I received yet another message, this time from my dad. I checked the text. And once again, it was a massive mixture of letters and numbers, with the phrase, Please help me, concealed within. As creepy as this seemed, my dad was always a joker, so I presumed he was just playing around, until I was sent another message, saying, Oops, pocket text. Now this sparked a panic, pure, unmistakable panic. Exactly half a minute passed when I received the same exact message from my sister. This could not be coincidental. It just couldn't. In a state of sheer anxiety, I started to run to the restaurant. I made it about a quarter of the way before I was stopped by a police officer. The main road's closed, son, he said. Huge car crash. This was the exact moment I realized just what had happened. I demanded to see the wreckage, a request I'm surprised I was allowed. When I got there, it wasn't the remnants of the car that caught my eye, and not the flames billowing from the destroyed vehicle. But instead, I was horrified to see the lifeless corpses of my mother, father, and sister. I asked the police for the estimated times of their deaths. All three of them were killed instantly by the collision at 532.